Hey, what's going on everyone? Sly here with Flo, and today we're talking about making it rain. We're talking about Trey Lance, the infamous video that's come out. Everyone's talking about it. He's out in a house, it looked like, and he's out, he's making it rain with a bunch of, it looks like strippers. Flo, I'll let you take the lead. What do you think about this, man? I loved it, man. The guy is <laughs> prepping for this upcoming weekend. We're going to be dealing with rain again. He's just getting ready ahead of time, you know? It's smart by the kid. He's prepping like it's going to be game day. But nah, with all seriousness, man, he's a 22-year-old dude, man. Who's not going to want to make it rain with their strippers around? Any normal dude does this. A bunch, bunch of people are bashing him. Man, none of you guys are that holy, man. I'm going to say at least 80% of the people go to strip clubs. Relax. It's not a big deal. This guy's a millionaire, man. He has money to spend, money to blow. I understand that he has that image and people were like, oh, what the heck? Where, where'd that go? But at the end of the day, he's a person, man. Um, even religious people, man, they're going to make mistakes. That's part of being a religion. Forgiveness, guys. Forgiveness. But what do you think, Sly? Yeah, man, when I saw this, I was kind of stunned. Like, whoa, I did not, was not expecting that, you know? It kind of brought me back memory, memories from uh, porn star Jimmy when that happened. So, oh, man, we must got some guys out there. Who knows what the heck Brock Purdy's doing right now? We don't know, man, because it seems like our quarterbacks right now, they're wild. I heard this weekend, Kyle Shanahan, he's going to be calling a lot of uh, naked bootlegs out there. I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing. But seriously, though, um, I know people are bashing him right now. Me, personally, I never was uh, going to the strip club scene. I never was into that. But everyone's different. At the end of the day, me, the one thing that I care about is winning. At the end of the day, I care about what he does on the field. A lot of people I know are going to use this as fuel. I know the Colin Cowherds of the world are already at it. Um, there's a lot of guys that have been bashing him already are using this as ammo. But all he's got to do is play good. That's what matters to me. Call me shallow, call me whatever. But at the end of the day, when guys like Alden Smith were out there getting arrested, DUIs, everyone was saying, cut him. Me, myself, I was saying no. Why? Because the guy was talented. Ruben Foster, same thing, kept getting arrested. I don't care, man. I don't care. This ain't intramurals. It's all about winning performance. That's all I care about. If he plays good, you can do whatever you want. It's your life. As long as you're on the field doing your thing, all that matters to me, man. Yeah, I agree pretty much with most of that. The only difference was Alton Smith, man. That guy was freaking a drunk, man. Um, <laughs> he was putting all that stuff in his body, and then he was endangering people with driving. So I didn't agree with that portion. But what he did on the field, man, I loved Alton Smith. So I was able to let some stuff slide. Right now, Trey Lance, he's just throwing money. I don't know what else what he was indulging in that night. Maybe he was having drinks. If he was around strippers, usually what they go hand in hand. But I'm not going to say for sure. But the most part, it's just how he performs on the field. As long as he does it, costs us games, I don't mind. But uh, like last last week, I'm not going to say he cost us, but he did have that crucial turnover. He can be doing that. That's what I really care about. Don't throw those turnovers. Don't lose that ball for us, Trey. Yeah, the only honestly, the only thing I want in life before I die is for the Niners to win the Super Bowl. I don't give a damn what they do off the field. Like I said, 100 times out of 100 times, I would have kept Alden Smith. Michael Irvin literally stabbed his own teammate, almost killed him, was two inches from his artery. That's a playmaker, though, buddy. He won the championship. No one was out there hating Michael Jordan when he was out at strip clubs doing his thing, cigars, gambling, womanizing. He was doing his thing. It didn't matter. Why? Because the guy won. He was a winner. So as long as he goes out there and wins, it's going to be different. You know, there's other guys out there. Jamarcus Russell, we heard him always at the strip clubs doing his thing, but the guy just wasn't dedicated. So, like I said, all I want him to do, perform good, do whatever the hell you want, man. Do whatever you want. It's your life. But you got to be performing on Sundays. You have to perform. And we'll see, man. I know John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, they're probably talking about it a little bit just because they know Jimmy went through his thing, his little PR thing. But at the end of the day, he's 22 years old. Um, I don't care what he does as long as he wins. Yeah, I would just say for Trey Lance, just be aware of cameras, man. That's always going to be out there. Once there's footage, it's going to stay out there. But for the most part, um, it is a little bit harder nowadays compared to back then. You know, you said uh, Jordan was always at strippers and mm -hmm. stuff. But just that social media game makes things a lot different. And then nowadays, the uh, journalists, man, they attach these things to the player. And then they start making it a bigger deal than it really should be. Because like I said, throwing a few bucks here and there isn't the end of the world to me. Yeah, like I said, you could do what you want at the end of the day. For me personally, it's all about game day. Can you perform? Um, that's all I care about, you know. Um, I know people back and forth, both sides are saying, some people are loving it. They're saying he's the dog. They have the uh, little image of the dog inside his heart. Other guys are saying they're done with them. They're absolutely disgusted by what he did. 
Um, like you said, though, all none of us are perfect. You know, I'm not going to judge anyone because I make stupid mistakes in my life. I do things that I know I shouldn't be doing. So I'm not going to go out there and start bashing Sheree like I'm holier than thou because I'm not. Personally, I'm not. So that's just my take, man. All right. Well, you guys let us in the comments what you guys think about Trey Lance making it rain. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.